Well, it's Sunday morning. We are here at the farm, farm building at the fairgrounds to meet up with the group of people who are going on the field trip to dig we up don't, rocks. We're, well, yeah, <laughs> well, I don't think we'll have to do any digging. They're going to be surface, what they call surface collecting, pick up rocks. Now, yesterday we afternoon like? we saw a presentation on uh, kind of helping us to understand the differences between what rocks and minerals were out here and what we might see and what things were. So that should help us a little bit. And then I'm sure they'll tell us more when yeah. we get there. So uh, they said it was about an hour and 15 minutes away. The last quarter mile requires four wheel drive, uh, which isn't surprising. We're going up into the mountains. Uh, and, and this town is surrounded by mountains. It's actually cool. When we do our outro, we'll tell you the rest of the story of Truth or Consequences because we got the full story last night from a gentleman whose name is Bob Middleton, mm -hmm. uh, who owns the restaurant, uh, the Arcos Los Arcos. Los Arcos Steak and Lobster Lobster Restaurant that we ate at. Uh, and he's been, he's owned the rest, he's been here since 1947. Well, he and was born in Princeton. Did he say he had been here? Yeah, he's he was he, born here. And he owned he's the restaurant, <laughs> and he owned the, he's owned the restaurant for 50 years. Yeah. So he knew the whole story. So yeah. we'll, we'll tell you in the outro when we're headed home. Okay. Um, uh, that's it for now, guys. driving in a caravan on our field trip. <laughs> field trip makes it sound like it's a school trip. Um, we're going to a mining claim that is uh, administered by the club. And uh, there's supposed to be calcite and- Barite. Barite and uh, coarse quartz and things like that up there. And he said, you know, um, the guy in charge of the field trip, Craig, said that uh, pretty much any car can make it to where we're going to park and then if you wanted to go further up the hill it gets steep so you would need four-wheel drive but he said you can walk that, you don't have to drive to where the very end of the road is because where they park, he said there's there's all kinds of minerals and crystals just within steps of where you park so um, we're headed up in a caravan and we'll be there probably about an hour. Yeah, we're going, we're going further south. So, um, as Shelley said, the minerals are supposed to, we shouldn't have to do any digging. We're not going to be going in any caves or mines or anything like that. They're uh, literally on the ground, so that's good. We would like to get a couple of specimens, maybe some calcite, some barite, if we can find it. Um, you know, if we can leave with three or four good specimens, I'll be happy. Um, And then they're going to finish up around 2 o'clock, and we're going to head back to uh, uh, Bernalillo and Rio Rancho around that time. So we should get home relatively early. Uh, but I wanted to Shelly to tell you, so we were at a restaurant last night called Los Arcos Steak and Lobster. And it's been around for 50 years. And the owner kept coming up and talk to, talking to us. His name is uh, Bob Middleton. He's a very genteel gentleman. I mean, he was just a great guy. Uh, anyway, Shelley asked him to tell us the story of Truth or Consequences, and it was completely different from the one that I had heard. So tell him a story. Well, it was a radio show um, with Ralph Edwards, and then uh, they came out the first year, that's what I've heard anyway, that they came out in 1950. 1950. 1950, they said, if you change the name of your town, to Truth or Consequences, they would come out and do the show in your town. And uh, it wasn't just a one-time thing. They kept coming out year after year after year with celebrities and making a big, you know, to-do out of it. In fact, they have a park in town called Ralph Edwards Park. Um, there's, you know, it's kind of grown up in that way. 
And uh, so he said that Ralph Edwards came back every year for 50 years that he kept his side of the deal and that uh, once they made the transition to TV and Bob Barker, they still still kept coming back. And it wasn't just him and his TV crew. It was him. He'd bring celebrities with him and they would make a big deal. They'd have a parade every year. I mean, it was a, it was a big thing uh, yeah. when Ralph Edwards and Bob Barker used to show up. So. Uh, it was a pretty cool. good story. It was very different. The story I heard from my mother was all based on the Bob Barker, and I'm guessing that at some point in her life, you know, she and her friends made the trip down here to Truth or Consequences to see all the celebrities, which is where maybe she met Perry Como, too. <laughs> maybe well, so. Yeah. So, anyway, we're on our way. Uh, we got some footage up there. Or we're going to get some footage up there. We got permission to... Um, launch the drone so we'll have some drone footage of you uh, for of it for you so it should be a lot of fun yep looking forward to it. Covering up my microphone too, so. Shelly is talking to one of the no. folks from the club that brought us up here. And he's been helping us identify what she's collecting. Mm -hmm. Kind of lights up a little bit. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this light. I had another uh, UV light that wasn't nearly as good as, nearly as powerful as this one. So is this all in the same class that, that she's got? So this is the Druzy quartz? Yeah, yeah. And uh, since I got this one, I went through my rock collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ended up with two shelves about like this, full of uh, fluorescent. Fluorescent, yeah. So give me the camera. I found a piece. Look, come over here. Okay. It's too big to take. I don't want to take it home with us. But here Take is a, picture. a piece on Last the back. <laughs> See, it's got that lacy looking barite on it, and I'd like to find a small piece to do it, to, to take home with us. Ah. See right there? Yeah. I mean, that's a big sample. So we're going to go up around the corner, see if we can find a smaller, uh, you know, that lacy kind of barite. Right. You think we'll find some up there? Probably. It's all over the place. All right. <laughs> Want to go for a walk? Okay. I can just leave this here. All Maybe right. Fine. You got all the tools you need and gloves? Uh, you know what? We'll I probably at least need the... Should get a bag or... There's the... We can just take the big pieces yeah, out. Yeah, just take the big pieces out and, and get the... Uh, claw thing. So this is some of the material that Shelly's already collected while I was flying the drone. Just some samplings of what's here. Yeah. No, it's, I think it's good. Uh, so there's a little piece of jasper with the... Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. There's a little bit of bear right there. So why is your orangey? 
That's iron. That's from the iron. So it's got some crystals. This one's all blue. Very nice, very nice specimens. All right. We don't have to keep them, I just right. picked up. Well, you know what? what was out there. Uh, we can make a decision when we get back to my place. If we don't like them, we can just add them to my Xeriscape in the backyard or front yard. <laughs> I suppose we could. So we're going to head up around the corner here. They said, he said we might find some more barite up here. Hold the camera for a sec so I can put my gloves on. But, you know, they kept telling us that there's uh, material. Did you get the, the hook thingy? The what? The hook thingy. I didn't. Oh. I thought it was in the bag. It's it was, bag. but I took it out and I thought you were going to grab Shirley, it. Shirley's going back to get the hook thingy. It's, it's a good for turning over rocks. Rock hounding term. I still don't have my gloves on. So lots of folks up here came uh, with the uh, caravan. It's a beautiful country down there, lowlands down there. The road is uh, relatively mild. I mean, it helps if you have a four-wheel drive truck, but. I think a two-wheel drive vehicle would have made it fine. It's bumpy, it's rough. Uh, but it's not like the road over like the Rio de los Pinos where it's gonna destroy your car in the process. Could you hold this again so I can put my, I didn't get my other glove on. Oh. <laughs> so they're getting our way out there. What'd you get? Oh, oh yeah. did you find that around the corner? Uh, somewhere in here. Right around here? Yeah. So that's the kind of barite we're looking for right there. Uh -huh. That's very nice. Thank you. Very good sample. We'll take it. There's lots of citrine up there too. Where? Up around the thing? Yeah, here's a little. Here's oh a little yeah, bit yeah. Of it. We found a we found a small piece that was uh, a little bit bigger, but had that orange citrine color. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Well done. Thank you. If I can carry them all. I have to leave them here. One more rock. One more rock. So I don't know what you guys, uh, we have to take a picture of Shelly's t-shirt. We bought her a t-shirt yesterday. Yeah, but it's cold out here, so I didn't want to yeah. run around with my sweatshirt on. So I don't know exactly how far around the corner we're supposed to go. Well, there's people up there. Well, there's a path over here. Oh, look, there's people way up there. Wow. Yeah. This is better than Rockhound State this Park. This looks like an easy path, I guess. You think? Head this way because there's a, like, a, whoa, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Wind blew me over. All right. Keep your eyes on the ground, so, because it looks like. some folks up there. I don't know if you can see them. They're not far away from us, but they, uh, the GoPro makes them look like they're far away. We have some other folks in here digging. I just walked into a bush that kept me from. So I should have brought my walking stick for balance. Uh, I thought you would have. Pardon? I thought you would have. I just didn't think of it. I'll add it to my list of things to throw in the back of the truck. Yeah, well, I thought you kept them in the back of the truck, so that 
we didn't have to remember. So you find these places that look like they were just pushed up by a So look at the colors of these rocks. And then that druzy quartz is embedded in all of them. Oh. There we go. There's a nice little sample there. Have you guys seen the end of that kind of lacy bear right? The... Don't know what it looks like. Yeah. Hard. That's okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Us too. <laughs> See, there's lots of it here. There's gonna be some in here. I'm gonna feel like we're gonna have to dig for it. Hand me that garden claw. Giggy garden. Oh, that's buried deep inside the bag. Ah, see, it's got some in the, uh, it's got some in these little uh, crevices. You can see the beginning of that lacy stuff. Mm -hmm. That's a good specimen there. Let's keep that one. Trick or treat. So we're <laughs> so we're close. Oh, look at this. Almost. So it's got this little, this is a small sample of it right here. See how it's good. It looks kind of lacy. Oh, okay. So sometimes you can find a rock with a big deposit of it on the rock. Otherwise, most of the barite around here looks more like the like this. Okay. Yeah. But every once in a while, you'll look and you'll see. Oh, it got its start. It was on its way. You know. So let's see if we can find. Is that somebody from our group that went up there? Say again. So is that somebody from our group up there? In that truck at the top. Up the, here? In that truck up there at the top. Oh. Oh, it could be. Or it could be one of the club members. I mean, yeah. they've got the confidence to hit up that road. All right, let me see the camera. So. So it's a, this. So when you find this stuff, it is barite. But every once in a while, see right here. That's where it starts growing the lacy part. Okay. It's just right. It's the same mineral. 
yeah. but it comes out two ways and there's something that it interacts with that causes it to start looking uh, for that. And if you see the specimens down there at the uh, uh, show, mm -hmm. they have beautiful, just they look like, they look like brains. Huh. Okay. Uh, they have these big specimens and you can find them up here. Yeah. I mean, they are up here. All right, well, I, I think I'm, that's as close as I'm going to get to it today. But let's go see if we can find some, uh, the orange one. Orange? Wait, I think we have a good specimen of it. Yeah. You had some. Yeah, the, um, there's a lot of orange right over there. This all right, let's go down. Orange. Let's, I don't know if I want to walk down there. Yeah, we can walk in this direction. There's some in this uh, arroyo as well, this little Is there, okay, crevice. Wait. Yes, what? Can you see us? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go look for a couple of other specimens while we're up here. Uh, but that's what this is all about. This is the equivalent of rock hounding. We had the benefit of, of being on a mining claim that is hosted by the um, uh, Gem and Mineral Club. And we were very grateful. It, it cost us five bucks to come up here. And we've already found a lot of specimens that we wouldn't find uh, any place in our area. So uh, we're good to see that. There's a couple of other pieces that we want to look for. Uh, and I need both hands to make sure that I don't fall on my face or my butt. So, uh, but thanks for watching. Anything? Yep, we don't want to fall down, so ah. that's enough. Okay, <laughs> all right.